Hello, Internet, and welcome back to some more Sidereal Midnight Plays XCOM 2, the second run. Last time, we did a new introductory mission, and a new mission to me altogether. And then we did another new mission to sabotage, or no, not sabotage an advent train, acquire something on an advent train, but unfortunately, thanks to the, uh, the lack of sacrifice from our dear friend Coward Gallagher here, it did not, it did not work. The mission was not a success. Then Optimus Prime talked to us about the black side again, but like I said in the last episode, we're gonna try and avoid that to start. I want forward. either a full set of weapons or a full set of armor for one squad before we do that. Preferably a full set of weapons. We're also gonna get some rookies. Excellent. Welcome, all of you. And then... We'll make contact in this area, if we can. Setting course for sector nine, Western United I'm not States. sure if we can yet. Because I think it'll tell us, it'll be like, make contact, if we can make contact with them, and it doesn't seem like we can. All right, let's gain intel then. It's not a lot of intel, but at least we're getting something. Research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip and plan. Okay. Nothing about that cutscene seems to be different. It's just talking yeah, about how um has clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Once the AWC is built, soldiers may gain a bonus ability outside their current class whenever they are promoted. An addition engineer can be staffed in the AWC to decrease the time our soldiers need to recover from injuries. I do want that. That is something I want. Oh, right, we need to research resistance comms before we can make contact. Let's do it then. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report of it. The sooner we get in contact, the sooner we get supplies. Having successfully completed the operation necessary to remove the commander's implant, I am intrigued by the possibility of examining another subject for comparative analysis. Since the officer in question will likely have expired long before arrival here, I may rely on a faster, more invasive approach to removing the chip this time around. Mm -hmm. And now we just scan for more intel. scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations. The aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. All right. Oh, and we have another guile. I'm glad. We could always use more guiles. I think everybody else who was on the last mission is wounded. So we're gonna make utility items available. And one of you is getting the med kit. Sure, I'll have Guile take the med kit. And you know what? I'll have you take the flashbang. And actually, because it makes sense, I mean, his nickname is Stoic for crying out loud. Oh wait, I can't. Uh, I need Gorilla Tactics Tool to give personal combat sims. Oh well, let's launch it. So yeah, what I was saying before about the cutscene that I skipped, in case anyone was wondering, is that um, it was just talking about how the uh, about how the commander was like relaying their tactical experience to the entire Advent network. And that um, Tygen wants an autopsy of an officer to figure out how that network works. How, like, their networked brains function. So we're going to end up doing that, but resistance comms come first. 
rescuing an important VIP of theirs that was recently captured by Advent forces in this region. Recon indicates plenty of hostile activity in the area. We'll need to lock down the AO, secure the VIP, and eliminate all enemy contacts standing in our way. Yeah, VIP missions seem a lot, like, seem a lot more useful because you don't have to neutralize, you don't have to kill everybody to do them. I mean, killing everybody in this game is hard. Like, eliminating every enemy on the map is a rough business. But who knows, maybe mag weapons will, uh, will make that easier to do. Mag weapons, a black market where I can, in where I can rush the uh, research on mag weapons. I just want to get mag weapons up as fast as possible. It's like how in the old Enemy Unknown game you needed to get laser weapons up before the first terror mission, otherwise the chrysalids would just destroy you. I think it's like that. You want to have mag weapons up, or at least like mag rifles. One five, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Opposition is lost. Okay. Yeah, you want to have at least mag rifles up for like the black site mission and the codex and all the horror that follows after it. Okay, so this time the VIP is actually in prison. The last time the VIP was just kind of living their life. And, wait, what? Oh, because he's gonna like smash through the window. Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand why that would be a bit of a, uh, a problem. And we can play it a bit, a bit loose to start. Because we don't see any aliens and no aliens see us. But eventually we're going to have to, or once we're revealed, we're going to have to start playing it more, more close to the chest. Though as we learned last episode, that's not always the best strategy. Let's do this. Because sometimes... Even when you have everything perfectly set up, one random panicking soldier can ruin everything for you. All the hard work you put in. Closing on target position now. Just... Yeah, take time until time can no longer afford to be taken. Hmm. So the VIP is in this giant building over here. The like, the number eight gene clinic. I mean, it's a DNA healer, so I, I can see that, but it's also just the number eight. All right. Hopefully they come down here because I would not like to try and shoot them with their high ground advantage. And we're just gonna put everyone on Overwatch. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. If we do get revealed, we are going to make them pay for it. Okay, so let's see. Where is their line of sight? Okay, well we can't see them anymore. I think we're going to try and actually go in through the building. Because they're way at the other end of that building. So I think the goal as of right now should be to sneak into the building without anyone noticing. Hmm. Is there an actual door over here? No. Just a bunch of walls. In that case... 
We will start sneaking people up. To this door. Hmm. Nah, putting him right against the door seems Love foolish. You. Or her right against the door. I'll just sneak her right over to this other door. Ah, oh, well, there they are. They're so close, they're nearly phasing into each other. Alright, so, open the door. Okay, don't even look at the door. Looking at the doors for chumps. Position confirmed. This is where they administer the bulk of their gene therapy treatments. At least the ones the general public is aware of. Okay. Good to know. Headed there now. Now this might be an invisible ink style game where they notice the door oh, is open. Way. So I think what I'll what I'll do is I will have um I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that game that name. Moving. I know the everything after the first syllable is Katarina. I have no idea if that's like what sort of pronunciation that first syllable has. Okay, good, we're fine. That's affirmative. Now we just get everyone as close to the door as possible. Heading out. Oh, uh, Jim Stoic, you couldn't see that. Ah, uh, that's really, really unfortunate. That is most unfortunate indeed. Moving on target location. Confirm. Well then, this is about to get very interesting. And of course they see us now because they can see us through the window, I'm assuming. Okay, which of your suite of annoying things are you trying to do? Ah, disorientation. And you're also, no, you're not gonna get shot. Jim's gonna get shot. Interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Alright. She can't shoot very well, so I'm just gonna get her close to the uh the VIP. Uh, those are some very odd tanning beds. And some very emaciated people. Aliens do not feed well, apparently. Uh, the sectoid needs to die. Understood. Moving out. I think I know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, good. Williams does have a grenade. Confirmed. Because I need somebody to eliminate his cover. All of his cover. Grenade! And most of that wall, I guess. And now, Jim has the perfect vantage point to just shoot him in the face. There we go. Kill confirmed. And what about you? I don't think I can get her in a position where she actually, like, isn't- flanks him and can actually, like, get the aim bonus. So, what I will do instead is I will have her hang out behind the tanning beds, I guess. 
slowly start moving people towards the evac zone. Ha. Ah, still can't get me. Alright, she's doing something. That's good to know. I'm glad when my soldiers are doing something. It's down. Earn yourself a nice promotion. Excellent. Can I get anyone there on this turn? I can. Closing on target position now. So Jim, my boy. I need you to hack this. Whacking on the door. Whacking on the door, alright. Ooh, I want those alien alloys. It's super unlikely that I get them though. Oh well, good enough. I'm in. The VIP is secure and we're on the move. Menace 1 5 status confirmed. VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction point. Alright. So now we need to get Guile somewhere. Where's our. Okay, there's a door over there that lets us out. Which is definitely where we're going. Good to go. Alright, and there's our VIP. I don't want you by the door though, it's dangerous over there. I could ver I could use a new scientist a lot, so you're just going to hide out over there. And you are going to hide out over here. Oh, well there they are. And I'd honestly rather overwatch. So that's bad. That probably means they could flank and then take a shot at her. I will hide her behind this then. Behind this half cover. Hope that nobody opens the door from the other side. Nice shot. I don't think anyone's like super out of position. Doesn't mean they won't get hit, but I don't think anybody's out of position. Whoa. God damn it. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. God damn it. All right, Jim. I'm gonna have you run out of here. Go, go, go! Cause you're you're sort of in a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. So you might as well just scout for me. What about you? So they're they're over here somewhere, right on the edge of the map. So let's get you over here. And just hunker down. Guile can get over here, it looks like. Running. And we're just going to do this the slow way. Heading out. Just ran over that guy's face. Whatever. 45 and 46. Now, nah, just overwatch. Yeah. This guy, whoever he is, William, is going to stay behind and stall while everybody else tries to make their way out. I'm all over it. All right, there comes the advent plane. Dun da da da! Advent plane! Advent troops spotted! Advent. 
All right, it's only the uh, the Stooges though. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, hey, isn't it a lovely day in the neighborhood? Oh God, there's a battle going on over here. Good thing we arrived just in time to see it. Okay, well that guy on the tanning bed just got eliminated. Also, did I not have you on Overwatch? I could have sworn I had you on Overwatch. Oh well. Looks like you're gonna be a sacrificial lamb, my boy. Yep. Not even close. You're saying that to yourself? Alright. Okay, Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. Where do I need you? Order confirmed. On the move. I guess I'll put her up here for now. Any good flashbang targets? I want a situation where I can disorient at least two things. Unfortunately, they're obstructed by line of sight. Oh, there's a good one. Everybody disorients. Forty six, forty six, twenty six. What is your grenading chance? Jim, Jim, I'd like to click on you, please. There we go. Okay, so that's how big the grenade zone is. Moving out. Uh, I can get close. But not a hundred percent there. Yeah, let's do this. The bomb's away. Kill him. Remove the his other friend's line of uh, cover. Not you yet, Mister Hostage. Or not hostage, VIP. You're a regular VIP, not a dark VIP. I didn't have to punch you to get you to come with us. Beautiful. Enemy eliminated. And you? Let's see. They could get a clear line from from there, but I feel like that's from back in the uh, facility, but that's just a risk I feel like I have to take. Hunker down. Where are you going? Yes, there is. That was not the Follow smart me. decision. Please not mind control. God damn it. Yeah, and a fine hello to you too. God damn mind control. Heading to that location. I'm fine with this. If he dies, he dies. The panic is so real. And of course you didn't actually do anything, because why would you do that? 
Why would you actually do anything? That's ludicrous. Moving. No. Don't shoot her. No, 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 no. There you go. Catch. Just lowering the amount of advent people. And then I guess, God, what do I even do with you? There's no good cover anywhere. All the good cover is gone. Oh God, he's not disoriented anymore. And Jim, you're probably just dead. Yep. Awesome. What was that? Oh good, he can mind control and bring zombies to life. And it was my own soldier too. The, dead. the aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Great. Yes. <laughs> Mass one five hostile interceptors are on high speed approach. Your window for extraction is closing. Good. She's still panicked. That's great news. All right, and okay, good. Missed the shot. That's good. Now they're angry at the VIP. Oh, come on. You can mind control two things and be on Overwatch. The sectoids are now like the magical wonder kid. Commander, we're losing our hold on the area. The strike team is getting chewed up down there. We need to secure the target and get our people out of there on the double. I would love to do that, but unfortunately, The situation is being a bit obstinate at the moment. Just a little. Just a touch obstinate. Oh, nice. Okay, good. I can deal with one Overwatch. One Overwatch is a solvable problem. I mean, at least he doesn't have the ungodly accurate sniper rifle that the, uh, the friggin' That the Vipers have. Alright. You just get behind this car. That's all I want. If nothing else will come from this, I'm at least getting the VIP out of here alive. Excellent. You're probably not going to be so lucky the second time, though. Yep, sorry. Kill, kill, kill them all. 
Oh my god. Yeah, the more the more I play this game, the more mag weapons seem really, really, really important. <laughs> All right, at least we'll get the VIP out of here alive. VIP secure and in position for evac. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Yep. And sorry, you guys are dead now, I guess. Yeah, cuz you can't waste like two whole soldier turns just killing a single sectoid, especially when you have so few and they have so many. All XCOM operatives are dead or MIA. I'm returning to base. Oh well, at least we got those rookies last time. Yeah, I feel like this is this is this is something that holds true across both Enemy Unknown and um, XCOM 2 is that you need to get like the next tier of weapons as quickly as possible like everything else is nice but if you can't kill them fast enough like if you can't kill the whatever the next threat is with one soldier action you're just you're not doing your job like people will people will die because not because they have too little health, but because they can't kill things before those things kill them. <laughs> I've done what I can do to aid our troops, but obviously it hasn't been enough. We at least got the VIP. Difficult outcomes such as this affect not only your crew, but the resistance as a whole, Commander. We must do better if we have any hope of stopping the alien threat. We succeeded. Thank you for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good use. All right, we have a lot of intel. And let's see. Oh, supplies. We need those. Plotting new course. I just want to get the Gorilla Training School unlocked before we call this an episode, so I'm going to scan this area. There we go. Yep, and here it is, complete with like a weird aquarium. No, 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 it's a water cooler. It's a futuristic water cooler. I can see the little uh, stack of cups by it. And let's see, who do we have as far as soldiers are concerned? We have, we have four soldiers, so we can send one person to the Guerrilla Tactics School. And the other thing that I that I saw from the from the last time is what we need in terms of soldiers, because there's always like that one class that you need a lot of in these games. What we need in terms of this game, sure, Denise. Yep. What we need is specialists to like to hack robotic enemies and to be able to heal from long range. Like they're both our medics and our main way of like disrupting alien disrupting enemy lines. We need a ton of them. So specialists, you're on. And. I think that will do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you like what you saw. Always appreciated, and I will see you next time.